I was pissed off. I am back from going outside. Y'all, I feel amazing. <laughs> Um, I had to use the restroom so bad. And once I got to the restroom, down, there's one down there by one of the bars. I realized I'm going to have to take my whole swimsuit off to do this. So I'm like, I might as well just try and hold it just a little bit longer and make it back to my room. Because the um, lunch buffet is almost closed. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, my phone has not been charging well at all. It's at like 12% and I was like, I could just leave it here to charge while I go eat. But the electricity is controlled by the room key being in this little key slot they have. So it's not gonna charge if I leave it here. So I'm just gonna have to take it with me, I guess. I still have to say nothing, y'all. I need y'all to see this cute dress I got. Okay, please hold, please hold, please, please hold. Okay, it's like the cutest little flowy dress with pockets. Um, Shein, do not play with it. Okay, y'all, uh, let's recap. Um, <laughs> um, first of all, my camera's sliding. Let's not slide. Hey, take two. Let's... Let's recap. I'm gonna just get this. I'm trying to make this short, sweet, to the point. I am annoyed. I don't think I'm difficult to please. I don't think I'm a picky eater. I just like my food to taste good. The crab cake was like this big. Like it was, it was like two of these on the plate, and they had the audacity to have them sitting this far apart with a little clump of what is allegedly remoulade, rem whatever, however it's pronounced. It tasted like potato salad. It tasted like, it didn't taste, it didn't taste good to me, okay? So when I saw these little itty bitty silver dollar crab cakes, I was pissed off. I was pissed off because I know somebody lying. Y'all are not stingy with the drink, so why are y'all being stingy with some of the food portions? like for the sit down. This this is the first time I sat at one of the sit downs. I think there are, there's that steakhouse, there's an Italian spot, there's a, I think it's called Japanese fusion. So I think there's four sit down restaurants. They're not all open every day. I don't eat red meat. So most of that stuff, I don't want, I don't, I know everybody when, you know, when you think about Jamaican food, a lot of people want to do like beef patties, oxtails, um goat i don't eat that so anyways the meal i ordered was the caribbean lobster if it's the only thing i feel like there should have been two of the tails on the plate like or am i being greedy because i'm i am like asking for myself at this point um there was one broccoli floret one piece of tomato i don't know why the tomato was there seeing that tomato just pissed me off even more. And then there was one small, like little piece of like corn on the cob that looked like it probably came from the buffet earlier in the day. And it, I ate the lobster tail and then the dessert was apple pie and ice cream. Why my fork can get through the apple pie? I wanna know. Like, why is the apple pie because my fork can't get through it. It's cold. Why is my apple pie cold? I could be wrong. Everybody might not like warm apple pie. I'm not already not a pie person to begin with, but if I'm gonna get it, I need a warmed up, okay? Um, the ice cream tasted like cardboard. And I was just like, I am not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like be rude or anything, but I feel like at the price we're paying for this all-inclusive, my food needs to taste good, okay? Because some gotta give, some gotta give, all right? Um, 
so I signed up for the, I think it's called reggae rafting. It's like the where they send that bamboo thing and someone's like standing up and you know, whatever. And then I also signed up for this boat ride. So I'm trying to slowly but surely get over my fear of boats. So I figure if I get on this party boat, you know, hopefully like if I'm gonna have some um, there, I'm sure there's gonna be drinks on there, so I'm gonna have some liquid encouragement. So, because I started to think about that as I walked away, like, you, you know you're afraid of boats, and you just paid to get on one. Well, at kind of too, because the raft is kind of like a boat, but not really a boat. I'm babbling. I have also had a lot to drink. I feel like my liver is fighting for its life at this point <laughs> because I have had a lot to drink just today. Um, because everybody else, they keep asking. And it's like, well, it's not your off one, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, the food at this point is starting to piss me off because I know y'all can do better than this for the price you were requesting to stay here. I just feel like you should be able to, the food should come a little better than this. It could just be me that is dissatisfied with the food. It could, you know, very well be people that come and love the food, think it's great. I say all that, just, I, not really that I'm saying nothing, but that I'm annoyed about the food. Like, usually I'm a good sport, but... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know if I'd be a good sport right now because the price, okay, and the quality of the food, mm -mm. no. But at the same time, I've never been to an all-inclusive. I don't know if that's just how it is with all-inclusives where the food just going to be met and that's just that. I don't know. So, um, I guess I should have done some research on all inclusives before I just booked one, but it's my first rodeo, so it is what it is. And in the event anybody cared, anybody's wondering, I broke out this Juvia's Place palette, the culture one. Um, I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to experiment with colors a lot in the last year, but I've been afraid. Green specifically being one because it's my favorite color. Um, I did a blue look a while ago, but I didn't love the way it turned out. Um, so I'll spend the black one blue. But I used this lime green shade here. It's called Iffy. I've, I don't know. I used that one, and then I used this other green here it's like a kiwi green that one's called taraba i kind of used it like to diffuse it out a little in the center and then i grabbed my jackie Ina palette and i used the dark brown this is the shade credit so i used that for the outer v area and then um, I used my, if I can pick it up, I used the Amrezy palette because there's a black shade in here. It's called BK. I used that for a makeshift eyeliner. And that's it. Um, I um, drew my brows with the one size brow pencil in the shade dark brown. I said I was babbling like five minutes ago. I'm gonna just stop babbling and I'm gonna just sit and figure out what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna go back out to the bar. I don't need another drink, first of all, because <laughs> I can barely hold my head up. Um, So I'm really just gonna chill out. I might sit on the balcony and just stare at the water in the dark because it's just it's just a sight to see and yeah that's it so 
I will check back in probably in the morning on the way to the excursion. I'm having a change of heart and I'm gonna go and get one more. And I think I'm just gonna order one of the drinks that's already on the menu. So do that and just bring it back up here. And I might watch TV, something to help me fall asleep because it's like 10 o'clock now and I do have to be ready to go. The bus is the right, like the pickup time is 7.15. So I should probably get down to the lobby about seven, just so I'm ready and, you know, so I don't miss it. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and grab one more. And because the um, quiet hours isn't until 11, I think the signs are posted everywhere where you have to be quiet after 11. And I don't know if y'all can, it's, it's a party, it's festive, like some festivities going on out there. So I'm not going to be able to sleep now if I wanted to anyways. So I'm going to go have me one more libation and then I'll definitely call it a night. So let's go get a drink. Okay. And then let's try to catch some Z's. I need to wash my, y'all. I forgot my makeup wipes. <laughs> Random effect. I, where is it? Actually had, as I was emptying out my backpack that was in my um, carry-on, this was in there. I thought I took this out. And at first I was panicking when I saw it because I was like, it's an aerosol. I didn't think this stuff could go through um, customs, but... It was in my backpack and I didn't even know it was in there all that time. I still didn't say nothing. Let me go and get my drink for uh I changed my mind again. <laughs> Two tequila and pineapple juices later. I went down there <clears throat> to try that blue Hawaiian drink. But it was the same bartender that was in the lobby bar last night. So when he saw me, I was drinking tequila and pineapple juice yesterday. So the music, there was like a, a band playing. It was really loud. And he didn't even ask me what I wanted. And I was gonna order something different because he was getting on me yesterday for ordering the same thing over and over. I'm like, mind your business, first of all, okay? Anyways, I turn around to look at the band and I turn back around and he walking towards me with a tequila and pineapple juice. I'm like, sir, that's not what I was gonna order. I don't know if he ever heard me say that over the music, but he gave me a tequila and pineapple juice shot. So I'm finishing it and I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'll order my blue Hawaiian after this yeah <laughs> i get down towards the bottom of the cup and i'm gonna actually order you know a drink he doesn't even he's not even asking me at this point i look back and there is another tequila and pineapple juice i am like sir <laughs> <sighs> yeah this is why i have ptsd with um jamaican men because this man was trying to find out my name last night. He wanted he wanted to have a conversation. And I just left the bar. And he was, he gave me a little attitude. He was like, yeah, and you didn't even say you were leaving. And I was like, I'm <coughs> not, I'm leaving. <laughs> so, anyways, child. I'm not about to continue on talking about my PTSD with the Jamaican man because that might turn to like an after dark type of chat. <laughs> and we ain't ready for that. I'm not ready for that. This ain't that type of party, so. I am what? <laughs> I'm done talking because I done had entirely too much to drink again. Um, So with that being said, I will check back with y'all. It's a guided tour where you're going to. Tell a little about coming. It's a fun thing, you know. You guys are here to enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. 
Yes. And you have to enjoy yeah, yourself. So let's enjoy ourselves also, right? I'm not gonna carry you enjoy yourself when I don't enjoy my ladies, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jamaica. Thank you. Is this your first time here? Yes. Hallelujah. Have <laughs> mercy. It's my first time too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, man. So my name is Eldine. My name? Eldine. Eldine? Yes. Okay. But they call me Ellis. Ellis. Or Rice Man or Gilman or Merman. Whatever you want to call me. Okay. Um, I'm not fancy. Any name you want to call me, I say hi. Okay. <laughs> so, today you're traveling on the Great River. This river is called Great River. And it's also called Seven Rivers. Okay. So, if you can't swim, I can't swim either. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Hallelujah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. As we say, this water is it. just clearing up. Don't worry, man. We gotta make a little stop to talk about the limestone and stuff. Okay. Like Have they ever tell you about limestone before? I don't think so. They don't tell you about limestone. Maybe I may I might have forgotten. It's my first day too, so maybe I forgot too. Okay. <laughs> well, somebody has to remember. Hallelujah! Have mercy. I hope it's you. Uh oh, we're in trouble then. Hallelujah. Thank God I get this lady this morning. Oh, Lord, please tell you. Y'all, I'm glad I'm capturing this audio because what did I tell y'all? I told y'all. These, right. these men are treacherous. I done told y'all. But I'm going to enjoy the ride. I'm trying to hold my hat down. I'm trying to look under it. <laughs> I need to be safe. <laughs> well, they're not going to go in the water if you don't have to. Okay. So you're not going to go in the water if you don't have to. But... If you feel comfortable that way, keep it that way. Okay. Yes. So, as we say, normally we stop. If you want to come take some pictures standing out here. Is it sturdy? No, it's going to be rocky. Girl. Then I'm going to sit here. <laughs> come on, my lady. Come on. Come on. Get the braveness up, man. Where are you from? Um... Do I have to stand? Like, where do I stand for the picture? You can you gonna, stand. You can stand anywhere. You are you gonna to take go. the picture? No, all the time you're gonna find soft stones, so you have to search. So you see? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, not sure. Don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the shoes off. I'll lend me a feet over there. And don't let. I got me. sand on my feet. No, come on, my lady. I'm used to that. Okay. Yeah, let me those feet over here. And both of them. Um, okay. And don't let your husband see me doing this because I can't fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the water's cold. Oh, I think it was wet. <laughs> Sorry. Next time I'm going to turn it down before I do that. Sorry. I think it was warm. 
Okay. My bad. I don't used to it this cold, you know? They did say it was cold in the morning. Oh. I think. Oh. You're catching on very quickly. <laughs> yeah, you're a good listener. Yeah, man. So this limestone is good for dry skin, prevent her from sunburn, help with insect bites. And it's all natural. No chemical added. No. So as I say, it's my first day rubbing down these feet. And I can't fight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have mercy on me today. <laughs> Even now, September, October is our rainy season, so you can see a lot of rain. Seven. Including planting. So cold. Oh. What happened? Oh, so cold. Oh, Lord. Sorry, I didn't turn down the temperature. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Okay. The area that you'll be doing the rest of your activities is known as Sandy Bay. So that's where you're going to complete the rest of your activities. And then you'll also be having lunch. The rum punch is missing the punch part. Oh mm. yeah. This is rum, not punch. Y'all, I am back from my day of excursions. Excuse the messy AF room if you could see it in the background. It's, what time is it? I need to figure out what time it is. It's just after 5 p.m. And the bus, I got downstairs at 7.15 a.m. 
Um, I don't even think I opened my curtains this morning. Anyways, y'all. Let me try and walk away from the audio because I do not need to get flagged. Um, so the first stop was the bamboo rafting. Um, and I done said I got PTSD with um, Jamaican men because they are treacherous. They are treacherous. Like, and I'm saying with my chest, the men is treacherous. Are the men are. Okay, my phone felt dim. I couldn't really see. You see I'm sweating bullets. It's like a waste of a retwist because my hair didn't sweat out profusely. The second stop was the catamaran. So I'm trying to conquer my fear of boats because at some point I do want to try and take a cruise. So I was a way to dip my toe in the pond. And by getting on there with a bunch of strangers, I kind of, I couldn't, like, I didn't have a crutch. I didn't have someone there that I knew that like I could grab their hand. So I kind of had to thug it out. So yeah, we're conquering the fear of boats. Um, I, like I said, swam profusely, but I might go jump in the pool real quick before I get in the shower. I am gonna hold y'all. My phone's at like 15%, so I'm gonna have to take it with me anyways because the one thing about this hotel is, let me show y'all. You have to put your card into this slot, your key card, and it's essentially the electricity for the room. So, here we go. So basically, once you take it out, all the lights turn out, none of the electricity works. So I was trying to figure out why none of the outlets were working yesterday, and I realized I forgot to put the card in. So, boom, no electricity. Electricity, let there be light jab. Um, and on that catamaran, it's like the one guy, every time he saw somebody without a drink in their hand, he was handing us rum punch, and the punch was too strong. It's like, but I don't want any more. <laughs> um, I said, I'll let to say nothing, child. We had a time on the catamaran. At some point, I had to stop um recording because. It was a twerk session, okay? And I ain't gonna say who was twerking because I don't, I'm not gonna confirm or deny if it was me or not. But there were a lot of people on the boat, a lot of um, skin, it's the cleanest way I can say, a lot of skin was out, sun's out, buns out, if you know what I'm saying. Um, if you picking up what I'm throwing down. In the words of my twin. <laughs> I'm babbling. I need to find some chapstick because I know my lips feel extra dry, cracked, and chapped from being out in the sun. And I'm glad for this mesh thing because it's definitely plus size swimsuit friendly. I can hide all the tiger stripes. The world ain't gotta know. They ain't gotta see. I'm, again, babbling. I'm gonna just stop talking. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna check back with y'all later. Good morning. <laughs> I literally just woke up and um, I guess I'm trying to catch the sunrise. It's daylight, but the sun's not out yet. So I'm gonna sit down here trying to recover. It's like, I don't know, a little bit before 6 a.m. Yeah, I look, I look terrible, just, just know I'm fighting, okay, I'm trying to survive. I haven't been chatting much, so I'm trying to catch up and chat a little. I might talk a little when I get back into the room, but just sitting here enjoying the view, and yeah. I'm just, <clears throat> I feel like I'm fighting for my life literally too. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the experience. Um, just extremely grateful to have, you know, been here. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna just sit here and chill. 
Uh, breakfast doesn't start until 7, so. Yeah. So, um, I'll probably do a little chit chat. I don't know if I'll do it before or after breakfast, but. I'll uh, chit chat with y'all real soon. Um, the breakfast buffet should be open, so I'm gonna go get some breakfast and coffee, and hopefully, I'll wake up and get some energy, because I feel like I'm running on fumes right now. Um, today's Saturday, it's my last full day, so, um, I think I wanna be a beach bum. Like, laying out in the sun, I didn't know I would enjoy that as much as I did. So that's what I'm trying to be on. So I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna come back and figure out <clears throat> what I'm gonna wear to go back down there. But yeah, let's go on the breakfast chat. What I will say is when you find a server, kind of create a little bond with them, they really be looking out for you. Like that bartender that's always making me the drink without me even asking. Same with breakfast. I've had the same um, waitress for the last two, because I didn't come yesterday. And today she asked me where was I at yesterday. So, so yeah, they get your stuff together. It's cool. So. I'm gonna uh, eat my food and yeah, so I'll show y'all what I got. It's pretty much all I've been eating at the buffet. It's been the fish and rice, so I got some cabbage. So. All right, y'all. I am back from breakfast and it's about 8 a.m. Um, so I want to talk before all the music starts. Um, so. I've been, you know, doing the best I can to vlog during this trip, but honestly, I've really just been trying to take it all in. So, um, again, like I'm extremely grateful to be able to experience this. And um, lately my mindset is kind of shifting. So I don't want to, continue buying as much stuff as I have, but instead give myself more experiences, like travel-wise. And I have, I've had this discussion with a couple different people over the past few months, but I've um, come to like the self-realization that I tend to overcompensate um, healing that inner child, which I've seen a plethora of people speaking on this, um, on Instagram, YouTube, offline, like in real life, you know, it's something about hitting your thirties. And I feel like specifically I saw Jackie Ina do a reel about this a couple months ago, but something about once you hit your thirties, some of those inner child traumas maybe not even necessarily traumas but um inner child things that you might have experienced or lacked for that matter 
um, they kind of resurface in your 30s. And um, I didn't, I grew up in a house where there wasn't any extra money to do things. Like sometimes there wasn't enough to do what had to be done. So things like going to the movies, uh, random trips to, now, in, you know, thinking about it, Burlington and TJ Maxx commercials, those stores are pretty inexpensive, but not being able to go and um, buy things there or um, getting new shoes for school every other year, you know, there's no trips happening, you know, things like that. So I find that as an adult, I tend to try and overcompensate for the time where I couldn't go into a store and buy anything to wear now. Um, I always mask it with the, well, I deserve. And it's like, I'm trying to, get, even though yes, we deserve. I also need to be cognizant, yes, you deserve, but do you need it? Or like, are you, not, not even so much is do you need it? Cause I'm sure most of the stuff I pick up I don't need, but like, are you gonna use it? Cause I have a lot of stuff that just collects dust. So um, I wanna kind of shift gears and start doing experiences. Cause honestly, I'm still getting used to traveling. Like it's it's so like, it, it was such a foreign concept to me. Like people like travel, like, for fun <laughs> so yeah this whole trip I've been I've had quite a few firsts like this is my first time being in the Caribbean um this is my first time like seeing open water like this I've never I've never seen this like in person um well I think I've been to San Diego before there's one thing it wasn't like we like I was sitting on the beach I was like at a hotel where you can see the Pacific, but like you weren't like on, like walking on the sand or anything, but like to just sit and relax out on the, well, I kept saying the ocean, but they, I've been corrected a few times, the Caribbean Sea. Um. So yeah, this is, this is like new territory. I'm trying to allow myself to step into and it's 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 a process but i'm stepping into it so yeah because i've mentioned um a few vlogs ago about imposter syndrome in the workplace <clears throat> but like even in real life like sometimes not thinking i could or should be traveling doing like doing that but at the same time i find that i like traveling even like i'll travel for concerts like um, going to see Jasmine Sullivan in Minneapolis, that wasn't like my first time traveling for a concert. So yeah, I'm trying to get more so into um, traveling more. So that means I have to start saving my coins, okay? So I can rub my little pennies together, child, and, and make something happen. Maybe not as on a, a level of this price-wise, but yeah, still, you know, allowing myself to travel even, you know, for something small, a nice weekend trip or if I want to do a big trip or whatever, because I got a few plays on the bucket list. Like, I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Africa, like, in general. I'm not sure, like, all the countries I want to visit, but I definitely have, like, a growing list. I also want to like try Barbados and there's still some other places in the U.S. that I would like to go to because um, one thing I did not accomplish as a truck driver is driving through all 48 I, um, continental U.S. I haven't, I've driven through probably, let's see, um, 40. Five, I want to say 44, 45. I've never been through Washington, Oregon, or Colorado. So 
I've been through all the other states though as a driver so I would love to um I have three states left that are in continental U.S. I also would like to visit Hawaii at some point. Look, I don't know about Alaska, child. I heard them Alaskan cruises were nice, so maybe that might be my way to slide Alaska into the equation at some point, you know, God willing. So, yeah, I just, I've just been trying to take it all in. It's just so surreal, a slightly overwhelming. Um, you know, stepping my toes in sand, which now I can't seem to get the sand out. It's like in everywhere, everything. <sighs> Please some advice, because I don't know how to uh, get the sand out. Um, having fresh coconut water, like, it's so good. I had no idea. Like, I've had coconut water before, like, in the, um, the, the containers they sell them in, but like having it right out of the coconut, like that, that sounds, that that's amazing. Um, so I don't, again, I don't plan to leave again. Um, Cause I really just wanna relax. Like as much as I wanna do all the things, my body is just like, <laughs> We're struggling. I had picked up, I, I finally found this box again. I need to take one of these to see if this is gonna help me. I'm, I think I tried one of these before, I think. Anyways, here's the the plastic cups they have in the resort. It's water in here, okay, just FYI. Um, So, you see the cup. He filled it like almost this much with tequila. Like, it was like this much with tequila. And then he put ice in it. So the my time he put ice in it, it was like up here, okay? And then he splashed pineapple juice on top. That's not what I mean when I ask for tequila and pineapple juice. Like, give me this much pineapple juice, okay? And then give me maybe that much tequila. That's all I need. I'm a lightweight. I don't need all the extra stuff, okay? I don't need it. Let me see if this, first of all, because I I need all the energy I can get to survive. Now, if you are on, the, um, if you're trying to, oh, this is a lot. A lot of powder in here. Let's see, does it say how much water to put in here? 16 ounces of water. I need to find some more water. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got this called water. <laughs> it's spelled out how it sounds. I still don't think this is 16 ounces, but I'm just, I'm trying it anyway. <laughs> Y'all be using this? Um, this about to take me out before the liquor do. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh, I'm gonna move on. I keep thinking this phone is recording and it's not. I'm gonna go outside finally. Um, because I just. My energy just hasn't been up there for me to get up and move around that liquor, child. But I drank some more Gatorade. Maybe that liquid IV do work a little bit. It don't taste good at all. And I didn't even finish it. I kept, I was trying to sip it a little. But I have started to feel much better considering all the alcohol they've been handing me. So I'm going to go eat some more lunch and then I'm going to go lay out somewhere. Maybe I should grab this book. Maybe. Maybe I'll read some more on the beach. I did start reading this um, on the balcony. So, as I dropped it. This is why I can't bring my phone on the beach. <laughs> this is this is why I, like, I'm struggling to record out there. Because I forgot the water sleeve. And I have two of them. I still have to say nothing, child. Let's get on off this room. 
in case you're wondering why it's dark i've already taken the key out i thought i was recording when doing that it ain't been recording i'm gonna move on and i'm gonna check back in with y'all later So, I think my lips are cracked. <laughs> We're back from being outside. I really enjoyed myself being out there. I never thought I would be a beach girl. I'm a, I want to sit down, but I want to keep the camera up here since I just have on the robe. But anyways. <clears throat> so, yeah, I really never thought I would be a beach girl. I'm probably going to talk more later because I really don't want to be in here playing Miss Potato Head. So I saw that to say, just got back in from being out there because I don't have a phone sleeve to put on my phone in like for the water. I kept trying to angle my phone while sitting it on the chair and it wasn't working. So I couldn't get any footage of me out in the sea or in the pool. Um, it's almost dinner time, so I'm going to go wash my hair since I got it wet since I didn't sweat it my retwist out so it was no pointless in trying to preserve it so I'm gonna just um oh my gray hair child let me hide it <laughs> I'm gonna um check back in with you guys after I've like showered and um changed and gotten ready for dinner so I'll see you guys soon the look for dinner y'all these shorts got pockets i love that this um tank top came from target and the set this two-piece came from Shein. sheen i don't know how it's properly pronounced but my final dinner my hair is still wet um i after i got in the water i came back i washed it so it's a little wet and I'm nervous because I'm going to the Italian spot and should I really be wearing a white top? But this is all I got, okay? This is it. It's the end of the road. I don't I don't have any more outfit. Actually, I do have that one long black dress because I bought two. But I think I'm gonna go with this. This is really cute, honestly. If I would have gotten this in my first order instead of the second one, I probably would have ordered another set in like a different color. Because I'm feeling this. It's, it, especially the pockets. Like, yeah. There was a thunderstorm like an hour ago. Like, out of nowhere. It just started thunderstorming. I thought there were fireworks, but I was like, oh, that's thunder. I still have to say nothing. Let me get on out of here so I can go on and eat and enjoy my last night in Jamaica. It's the last morning. I'm leaving the beautiful sea. Let me go on this side, child. Oh, I got music playing. Let me turn that off. Hold on. Take two. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we try and do a quick little recap because they don't already call me um, to remind me that checkout time is at noon i'm gonna try and check out at 11 30 though because they gave me the same time i heard a couple other people mentioning the same pickup time so we're probably all going to be trying to check out at the same time so there might be a line at checkout so i'd rather get down there um by like 11 30. now they said 11 50 I don't know if it's really gonna be 11.50 or if they're just saying that. I don't know if it'll be more like 12, 12.15, I don't know. Um, 
and my flight is already delayed because um the plane we're supposed to be getting on hasn't left the states yet like last time i checked it hasn't departed so it's behind um i'm not even sure if it started boarding yet i haven't checked the um american airlines app again in the last 20 30 minutes but yeah so far i'm already delayed so i'm already <laughs> anyways um i did get approved for club mobay on the departure so i think they have a lounge which i heard has air conditioning because it didn't feel like there was ac in the airport there might have been like fans um so we'll see when i get there but that's pretty much the trip i and definitely enjoyed myself yeah this has been like i've been like overwhelmed with just extreme gratitude to have been able to experience this and it's like my first time being in the caribbean i feel like i've said that already hopefully it won't be the last time hopefully i'll get to come back you know either next year or the year after we'll see but i am just i am just grateful um so i do want to wrap this vlog up because i don't know how long how short this vlog is gonna be so yeah thank you all so much for tuning in with me on my first trip to jamaica hopefully it won't be the last trip um thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you in my next video Highly, highly recommend Club Mobe in the event you don't know about it. Um, they fast track you through airport security. Um, there's food, restrooms, air conditioning, unlimited alcohol if you'd like some. I think they have showers. Did I mention food and AC? Because that's all I really needed. It was only $30 and definitely well worth it.